What is up guys, your boy Raven here today with more remix bout cards being revealed and this video is going to be solely about one card, one GX that they revealed and the other video is going to be about, you know, some different cards that also revealed this day and today, well, they revealed a really interesting GX. I did not thought this Pokemon will receive GX. I thought, you know, his normal version at Alolan always will have a GX, which it does, but are you ready for it? Bam, bam, bam. Persian GX has been revealed. I'm not. I'm looking a little bit to the left because there are, are all the infos. Because it's a Japanese, so I have it, my translation there, right? Hopefully this time is a correct translation. So this is a dark type, Alolan Persian uh, with 200 HP, which is fantastic. 200 is good. I'm glad they are lowering the HP finally of certain certain uh, GXs. But then again, it dies off quite easily to certain. Uh, tag teams. All right, so smug face prevent all effects of attacks Ooh, Are you ready including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's tag team Pokemon? And as I said right as I said about the tag teams uh, that is uh, one, but that's not all that's not all it says tag teams Ultra Beasts and Pokemon's with special energy on them or attached to them. I mean come on this ability alone is amazing. Uh, honestly, this is this can go to so many dark type decks. Uh, you can, sorry, you have no idea. As for the fact that you know, it prevents from tag teams, uh, it makes Rashes a uh, baby, just you know, a baby that can't do a lot. Evilax from the Rashes deck again, a baby that can't do a lot. Of course, you've got a power plant, right? So uh, you can get rid of the ability. But it's really cool to see stuff like that, right? It's really cool to see finally you know, some prevention from tag teams that they, you know, it seems like they've uh, finally, you know, sat down on the meeting. They're like, Timmy, 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 get up here. Those tag teams, they are everywhere. We have to do something about them. So they're like, okay, um, we have to prevent some damage and that's going to be okay, right? And it kind of is, right? So definitely a step into the right direction. And so we're not gonna have as much tag team dominant uh, meta post rotation, or in our case with 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 Alan the Persian GX out after November, which is a uh, quite quite right. okay. I would like to see this ability also, you know, sometimes on basics. That would be really nice. And the fact that it says Ultra Beast, it prevents from Blastephalon GX. So they kind of notice, okay, Blastephalon GX as a deck. Wow, it is great, but we have to do something uh, about it. So definitely, you know, this is type of prevention uh, there. But again, power plant is still a thing, so it might be quite interesting. But let's go to attacks, right? Because I talked about ability that I <laughs> really do like, and I kind of forgot about attack. So we got uh, the same cost on both attacks. So it's one darkness, two colorless. Again, we don't have DCE, so it's going to be a little bit harder to get to those attacks. Um, which is quite, quite, quite interesting. Maybe, you know, maybe they're going to add DC and Sword and Shield. We don't know. First, it's just Claw Slash, 120 damage. Nothing really exciting. Nothing, you know, amazing. Uh, especially, you know, the fact that uh, he's weak to fighting type. But again, maybe Buzzwall will basically, you know, not do any damage. And the GX, again, the same. Uh, one Darkness, one double colorless. It's a Stalking Claw GX. And it says, this attack does 120 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness resistance on any effects on that Pokemon. So, for example, if you have Alolan Ninetales uh, on, on, on uh, like Baby One, on as an active, it will actually go through this ability, right? So it will knock out the Ninetales. Uh, it's kind of the same as Mewtwo GX. It has the same wording of, uh, of the attack. And I think in... X and Y era, there was also one water card. I think that was Espion. I'm not that sure, but it was Espion EX that might have had the same, the same uh, wording of an attack, which means, you know, uh, the ability that prevents the damage does not count uh, when you when you use the GX, which is really cool. And again, this is a nice card to prevent a lot of stuff and a nice counter to those that, that do prevent, right? They're like baby nine tails. So honestly, I think that might be quite interesting. And if we're gonna see like a baby GX, like basic GX with that ability, because definitely we're gonna see that ability uh, in quite a few cards, I would be so happy. Because 
this will mean that you have to, you know, you have to construct your deck in a little bit different way. Uh, like the dominance of, of, of your, you know, GXs will, of the tag teams will, you know, come that, and then not be happening, right? And again, like you would have to start putting certain different cards, like, you know, in Blacephalon GX, you would have to, you know, start thinking, oh, okay, uh, what can I put to counter this? And, uh, like, you know, for example, Picaram. Well, you, you can add Jolteon, for example, right? I know Jolteon is not the fastest card uh, out there, but it is uh, a nice attacker. And, well, actually, in Reshazard, you've got, like, Turtonators, you know, you've got all of that. But it definitely prevents Baby Blacephalon as a deck. So, if you can get to it, I think it's great. But, the fact that it's stage 1, it you have to kind of work for it, right? But it is, uh, again, like, see, I'm, you know, I'm, uh, that's a contradictory, but uh, there are not going to be any Guzmas and there are not going to be any you know, bench snipe uh, out there. So definitely a nice strategy to have, especially for dark type uh, decks. And I think that might be something that Zoran Ninja would use or will use uh, in, in, in the future. Maybe not. Um, I can see this being a tech in Zoran Ninja. Honestly, I can see that being a tech there. Uh, or in like a Hunt Crow deck, or in like Hoopa something deck, I can definitely see that that happening. But guys, what do you think about this amazing, amazing, amazing GX? Do you think it's good that it has the ability that finally includes tag teams? Or like, um, oh, really, you know, that's a pain in the many places. So this is my open question to you. Uh, don't, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more news uh, like that, for more decks. Because, you know, today we're going to do a Stefan Ivanov winning deck and more Raven, right? And if you want even more Raven, you can watch me live on Twitch. It's Raven Cold Snatchku. It's Monday and Fridays are 9 a.m. CT. That's where we play Pokemon TCG. And the rest of the days, I start at 11 a.m. with a headstone, four hours of headstone. And then we go at 3 p.m. CT and play Pokemon up until we fall flat on a face. And that's the Twitch. So I thank you so much for watching. Then we will have 5% discount. Any code you would purchase on Professor Oak. Mwah. Raven loves ya. Goodbye.